guys and welcome back to the channel today we are in the poly tunnel we thought we'd bring you along to see what we're planting and what we're doing so if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing as we're bringing out new content all the time i am joined with one of my kids here we are he's my helper always there with me help me in the garden so Without further ado, let's jump into this gardening one. Here we are. My son filled all the trays up ready for me. I've wrote the labels and the white stuff that you can see on this is a root growth. It's a my mycorrhizal. I don't even know whether you can see that or not. mycorrhizal fungi so it's what we use to help them and here we have some squashes I'm trying to think what else we've got we've got squashes we've got some herbs we've got some flowers so we'll let you know what we're planting as we go right we have two trays so do you want to do this tray? Yep. And I can start on this one over here. Okay, so I'm going to have to work my way backwards along this tray from here. Work my way up because I've already stepped them in. Got watermelon. I don't think they can see the name. That's Sugar Baby, isn't it? I think that one is. Yep. I can't pronounce that name. But yes, we've got those. <laughs> Some margarine. Mm -hmm. Acorn squash. I've got some summer savoury. Got a melon. Amir F1. Right, there's a celery. Celery parcel. Our seeds are from <laughs> our seeds are from all over the place. It's not just one particular company we use. Mm -hmm. Okay, snapdragons, I saved my own seeds. They're from at the front of my house. And they are pale pink ones, so I don't know the original ones. Got another melon. Right, uh, now what have I got? Sunflowers, they're miniature mixed. Not the squash. Cinnamon basil. China aster. We got China aster. The unique mix. Got another squash. This is a winter squash. And we've got poppy. It's a frilled rose one. You can see I picked that up for 50p end of last season. It was pretty. Got a baked potato winter squash. Yeah, we like that one, don't we? Okay, we have some pretty zinnias. It's an old Mexico. Pumpkin. Big Max. Some zinnias. And that's Early wonder. Got a squash, zuka. Got a mammoth pumpkin. Nasturtium, Empress of India. I love nasturtiums. If you've been with me for any length of time, you'll know it's my favourite garden snack. Is the nasturtium leaves. 
got some ink berries. We're on to another pop <coughs> poppy black swan. Okay, I've got Zinnia torch assortment. Okay, it's the China Asters. I've just done. Um, Gonna do some rainbow shard beet leaf. And these ones are in paper. So that's always fun. Gonna do some celery. Self blanching work. Okay, we have some stocks, 10 week ones. These smell beautiful. Got some broccoli. And last of all, one of my favourite ones is night scented stock. And I always have this in a hanging basket near my back doors. So when the when it's the evening, this smell is absolutely lovely. And you smell it all indoors. Love nights. Lemon basil. Sweet basil. Basil ever leaf. Okay, in here. I have some sweet peas. I'm just going to plant in this little one there. Got some apple mint, coriander, parsley. Got holy basil. Yeah. And got some thyme. Outdoor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh, the English. It can all be sprayed with some water. Okay, we have calendula bullseye. We have calendula playtime mix. Then we have some calendula art shades. I love calendula, which is this one here. Then we have some nasturtium, tom thumb, zinnia torch assortment. So I can pack it out. And as you can hear, it's raining here. And there's that. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, we have African Marigold, Cupid Orange. It's more of a mix. Yeah. In these ones, just to help propagate them. So that's that. But let us get set up because we're going to be planting some radish and carrots. Okay, to plant our uh, radishes, our uh, beetroot, our uh, carrots, I'm trying to think what else we're planting, and um, turnips. We'll be using this. I had, I think it was for Christmas, so I had some money for Christmas and I bought this. So, this is like the uh, square foot rule. I think it's just a cheaper version. So it tells you how to use it. I can see if I can link this on Amazon if anyone is interested. I think it was on Amazon. So I'll try and link that down in the description below. So we're going to try this this year. It tells you how to use it and it also tells you what colours we need to be using. So for, let's say, turnips, it's saying yellow. So we plant a seed in each of the yellow on this one and on the yellow near the centre and that is where you pop one seed and then if we was going to do, let me have a look, sunflowers we would be planting in the blue 
beans we'll be planting in the green same as the turnips are in the green um, broccoli and brussels sprouts seem to be just the centre hole so that gives you a rough idea so let's get you set up in a good place and we will start okay we're on to carrots so I am poking holes in the yellow These are only little carrots, they're not big carrots, so I'm going to stick one. Well, I would in the middle, but can't. <laughs> I'm going to lift that. Now you should be able to see our holes. Anything we can't see, I'm just going to go around and put in. Uh, there we are. So now let's get our carrots. I'm going to pop that one just there. We've got Royal Chantenay. There we are, that's one patch. One lot of carrots. On to the second lot of carrots. I'm going to do is going to leave a gap down there, which is fine. These ones are Paris Market round. And what I will do is I'll put some down this gap as well. Because again, they're like almost like little radishes, so they're not very big, so they could be able to fill in that gap there. That's carrots done. Into beetroot. Put that out of the way. Let's see how well this works this year. This is the first year they're using this planting guide. This one's beetroot rain it's called okay and the next one is the turnip and it's purple top and it was on yellow again I've already pre-done the holes okay. the next one is turnip snowball They're also yellow. We have radish round varieties. And now onto the radish white icicle. Next up is spring onions. We have Isha Cura. I don't know. Let's bring onions. Okay, we have Swede, Ruby, or if you're an American, I think you call them rutabagas. Here in the UK, they're Swedes. And it was done in blue, so there's not many. It's about four holes. Then I just stuck a couple extra here. And that's it for the rutabagas or sweets. Okay, before we go inside to do the £1.50 pantry challenge, we have brought some new bushes and trees, and we have a honeyberry, which is that one there. We have a cranberry, that one's called pilgrim, that one's there. We have a pear tree there. We also have a plum tree there. There were two for £12, so we had a plum. 
and the pear, these honeyberry and the cranberry were ten ninety nine each. They were from Garden Centre Sheeplands. The pear and the plum tree were from B and M. And we also have got two gooseberries. It was a blueberry and a blackberry. I'm trying to think where the blueberry went. I know we bought a secondary berry. Come with me. I remember the blueberry was just put there. So another blueberry. They were one ninety nine each. The blueberry, the blackberry, the blueberry, blackberry. The gooseberries, I think there's like one green, one red. And they were all one ninety nine. Okay, for this one pound fifty pantry challenge, if you don't know why I do this, I will link a video up in the iCard explaining why I do it. Okay, so this week we have from Tesco's our one pound fifty. We have some tartar sauce, some mint sauce, whoops, and some chicken flavour instant noodles. With this pantry challenge, we do buy everything from um, single items to convenience food to sweet treats, paracetamol, through to toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorants you name it basically from A to Z. So this is just the one pound fifty pound challenge for this week. Right, guys, thank you for joining us in our poly tunnel while we were planting away. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you will also plant a garden if you've never planted anything before. Give it a try. The way the world is, I think a garden is quite important. Even if you've only got a little balcony, you can grow herbs and that in buckets on a windowsill on a little balcony. Put a tomato plant in a bucket and it will grow so give it a try so if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing as we're bringing out new content all the time so until the next time guys bye take care